Hello, how are you? This is my first freebie from the Bird X collection. And you can get this freebie by signing up to my email list in Instagram direct message or Facebook Messenger or writing an email to me at info at terhespaperart.com and I'll put the address in the box down there. Uh, I wanted to show you how to use this. I made it very simple so that you can alter it to your needs. And uh, this is printed on a, a normal copy paper, A4 sized, and this is A, A3, a little bit thicker paper. It's good for book covers and tags. But of course you can use normal copy paper and glue it down on some cardstock instead. Here I have I have cut down some of the some of the elements and, and um, used some tools to make them in and different sizes and different forms. And here are some examples that I have already made in my junk journal. Let's see. There's a tab made just with this rectangular piece. This one. Let's see. This one, just by folding it, and I've inked it with distress ink. Then there's a pocket over here, and I have used it was this one, this larger one. I cut it down and used this circle punch to make the thumb hole and I inked the edges then there's let me use this white paper to show it better there's this tab that I have used the scissors to cut the cut the edges differently. I think it was this one. <clears throat> and then I just folded it and glued it down. And then there's this one. The smaller one. I've also used this small sized clip, clip of paper, and I rounded the corners. You can either use just scissors to round the corners like this. These are simple things that but very useful. Or if you have some kind of corner punch, you can use it. Like so. Either way, scissors are good too. And then glue it down here, wherever you want, of course. This one is a little bit longer, made the same way. What else? Let me see. Yes, that this is something I made earlier, but you can do it with the freebies too. 
cut down some some of the paper and glue it down on cardstock, maybe so around the edges like here. And this one, I took some of the larger image here and cut it and used the circle punch to make the thumb hole and you can glue it down on a rectangular piece of paper or cardstock maybe sew around if you like and embellish it with the strips for example cut the strips from here or use the faux washi tapes that I have included here, the lighter one and the darker one. You can use them to embellish things and get the same result as here. What else? I think I used somewhere the faux washi. Oh yes, there's an, another pocket, I put it in the upper corner and let me show you with this card, it holds the card as well as, as the, if you put it down here, it's okay to put it in the upper corner. Then, oh yes, there it is, some of the faux washi tape. I just tear it, tear it, tore it down, sorry, tore it down, cut somewhere, for example, like so, and glue it down to use as washi let's let's glue it down hold on and you can ink the edges if you like did i already say that <laughs> Like so. Just a little embellishment for your junk journal. And of course you can use the larger sized images as little um, pages in your junk journals. Let me cut this down just a second. Now we have these items here and I'm going to make a small notebook just using these, these um, freebies and or freebie items and some white copy paper. Let me see, where's my scissor? There it is. I took the larger one. You can also use, if you print it as a four size, it will be like this. Let's make two small ones at once. Then we will need some white copy paper and also some scraps, whatever you have. Here's my white paper scrap box. Let's take an envelope. I, I'm saving almost everything 
because you can you can always use the small small scraps too later on. Maybe that one. There's some no oh, that's too thick. Um I want to have some lighter lighter weight papers there. Let's fold some papers to fit in here. Now I have selected some papers and cut them to size. And the thing that I love about junk journals is that there are no rules. You can use your imagination and do what you want. I have several mm, scrap papers and this envelope that I'm going to embellish and use this as a cover. Also, this is just copy paper, so I'm going to use it as a cover, but it needs this stronger paper <clears throat> behind it. I'm going to glue glue the paper on, on here. And then cut it to size, like so. Then you can round the corners if you like. There's the papers. Let's make a little pocket here. That will do. some glue Maybe put a little card inside, for example this one, let's round the corners to finish it. That's pretty. Then use the full washi but I, I want to use the, the copy paper ones that are thin. Just tear it up and glue it somewhere where it looks nice. Then maybe a tag.
some glue. And let's put it, for example, here. That looks pretty. Okay. Oops. <laughs> then I'm going to sew this in with the, with the sewing machine. There. That's maybe the easiest way to sew here. Sew it here. And while I was at it, I also sewed around the edges of this larger one. Okay, then, as this is just an example, it's ready. You can go on and embellish it thoroughly. But there it is. Then we'll take this larger one. These, this could be a pocket double pocket. We need something to decorate it. So let's take these and then I'm trying to embellish it with this cutter, border cutter. And so the other one. And just trim the edges. Yes, I think I can make dub a double pocket on both sides. And for that I'm going to cut the thumb holes or punch. Punch them. Then glue this down. There it is. Now we have a pocket on both sides, or two pockets on both sides, and if you're hearing some noise, it's the plumbing replacement work going on in our building. Like so, there's one pocket, and there's another, and I'm going to glue it on this paper like so and so and so There it is. One pocket, two pockets. There. What else could I do with these? Let's think. I already have cut this pocket, so I'm going to use it now on the inside of the cover. Okay. 
and I'm going to make some small tacks. Let's cut this out. Like so. Let's make this tags like like a tag, normal tag. Just a second, where's my scissors? There. Just cut the corners. Make a little hole. There's a tag. Very simple. Then you could use a corner punch to make a rounded tag like this. So I should have put them here. Then you could round all these corners and make a tuck spot. Add a little bit of glue here and put it, for example, here. Then you can uh, use it as a tuck spot. Let's let it has to be, it has to dry a little bit before it can be used. Then there's this, this tab, let's put it, for example, here, with some glue. Like so. And of course, you could use one of these washi tape strips and make also a tuck spot. For example, to decorate this envelope. Yes. Glue it only on one side. And, and of course these these sides too and cut the rest of the excess there's another tuck spot for you for for these little tags for example I'm going to find a little book plate for this to decorate a little bit. I found this little scrap from my scrap box and sewed this side so that it will fit the edge. Now just add some glue and find a nice spot for it. I think this is good. Just a little, little something ex extra. Okay, I think it's ready. Let's put this book inside here. There are the double pockets and tags. And yes, this tuck spot more tabs, this tuck spot which goes over over here and here's then another one double double pocket there are some some examples for you to use how to use these freebies 
I hope you find them useful and like to use them and if you do please tag me if you're on Instagram or Facebook or somewhere so that I can see what you have made with these freebies and if you don't already have these just sign up for the email list and I will send them to you thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye